my biggest regret. Regret? Which one is appropriate to say? Okay, but why? Why are you both looking at me like it's me? Yes, yes, people. My name is Charity. My name is Grace. This is my channel. Welcome to the party. This is actually a really random, fun video to do on a weekend because we're still in quarantine. When I was younger, I always thought to myself, I wish I had a big sister, you know? I wish I had a big sister so I could ask her all these questions. So I decided to ask my sister. She had 16 questions, 16 because she's 16, to ask me what would they be and so we're going in blind here because I don't actually know what the questions are I said you pick the questions when we come to shoot the video I'll answer truthfully and in the moment so uh, let's see <laughs> let's just go straight into this what's your what's your first question Grace questions on my phone and my notes God. my first question what age did you have your first kiss Ooh, it was in year eight I was thinking it was, that's a lie, that's a lie. It was in, in year six. Oh it was God. in year six. <laughs> and it was in the cinema. Damn, year six sounds ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a fight? If yes, when and why? Oh. The only fight I've ever had was with family. <laughs> with my cousin Purity. We had a little scruffle <laughs> when we were on holiday with each other and that was the first time and last time we ever fought like that. Who's your favourite sibling? Who's my favourite? Oh Grace, I'm sorry. I can't answer that question. I can't have a favourite but what I will say is that I'm always rooting for you first just because we need to uplift our young black women we need to uplift our young yeah. girls if there was anything going on between all of us i'd always be on grace's side first just because of that have you ever stolen before oh god many times <laughs> <laughs> in high school we we all used to do it we you know go to the market you steal those little gems that you put in your hair when you slick your hair down we used to have a store in luton called mk1 i don't know if it was like everywhere one of the things that we used to do was we'd go into mk1 in our uniforms we go to the changing room we try and close and get like two different sizes or three different sizes and then we'd leave with whichever one we liked underneath our uniform and that is how we stole again this was way back when i was like in year eight year nine i was literally a child so no official should be coming for me what's your biggest regret biggest regret Oh, hmm. I don't really like to live with like regrets in mind, but I'd say that my biggest regret, regret, <laughs> my biggest regret is not speaking up in a moment where I really wanted to say something, but for some reason I just didn't. What's your favorite feature about yourself? Oh, um, I would say my eyes. Big fan of my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. Have you ever snuck up the house? Yes. Haven't we all? <laughs> no. no we okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's because mom's listening here. That's why she's saying that. That's why she's saying that. I just ask. Have you ever bunked school? Okay, yes. Oh my yes, god. In school, we used to have things, I'm so comfortable saying this because it was so long ago so nobody, nobody can tell me off about it now. In school we used to have like in the field there was like a gate and there was a hole in that gate and we didn't do it often but a few times we'd all sneak through that gate and like go into town or something like during like the last period or like last lesson or something like that. Yeah, it happened. Wow. Have you ever been heartbroken? <sighs> Yes, I have been heartbroken. I don't know what else to say to that. You don't tell yes. the story. Huh? You don't tell the story. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I have. What's one thing I do that annoys you? Oh, okay. 
you don't, I don't know if I should look at you or if I should continue looking at the camera. <laughs> you don't listen sometimes, Grace. You don't listen very well. Like, I'll tell her to do something or I'll ask her to do something and she'll do it, but not in the way that I asked. And so I was like, did you not hear when I said this? And she's like, oh, no. And I'm like, you need to listen, like actively <laughs> listen, because that's a really important skill that you need in life. Because if you're out here, like half-heartedly listening to people and then you go off and do something and it's not what they ask, especially in a workplace, then you're gonna find yourself in a lot of troubling situations. Where do you see yourself in five years? I hate this question. I hate when they ask this question at job interviews and like just generally in life, where do you see yourself? Hopefully somewhere better. It's a pandemic. What would you tell your high school self? Hmm. Where do I even start? Okay. Think about why you really want people to like you, really want to be seen. Think about that and think about whether or not it's worth applying all of that energy and all that thought into yourself. And that will help you, I promise you. If you start then, rather than figuring it out later. What made you start acting? Oh, good question. Okay, so growing up, I struggled a lot with expressing myself because I had a difficult time communicating with my family, with friends, I struggled and internalized everything and the only time or the only place I really found myself to be free and to be expressive was in drama, was in acting classes, was on stage. And my tutor in high school saw this and he like really pushed me for it. He's like, I think you've got a real talent here. I think you need to focus on this. And so I used to join in on school plays and school productions just because, you know, they made us do it. And the first time I actually did it for myself, I was playing a character called Mouse, and it was a comedic character. I had so much to learn, so much to improvise, and I just loved that feeling, I loved that buzz. And that was the time that I realized, wow, I actually want to do this as a career. Describe yourself using three words. Compassionate, adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin is watching us and she's just nodding her head in the corner like, yeah, yeah, I agree with that, I agree with that. Free. Yeah. I describe you as cool, vibrant, and thoughtful. I like the answer. <laughs> You're welcome. Have you ever been in love? No. I haven't. <laughs> Your face like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I say this because as an adult, I have never claimed to love anyone. I may have been falling. It didn't quite land. Hey, no, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever been in trouble with the police? In trouble? <laughs> the only thing that I can think of is when me, Chloe and Bali went to Milan, our taxi driver was a madman, okay? He tried to charge us triple the price from what the restaurant had told us. So when we got in the cab and he was like, oh, it's going to be this much, we were like, sorry, what? That's not what we were told when we were in the hotel. And he was like, okay, fine, if you're not going to pay, he then locked the cars, guys, started speeding and drove us to the police station. <laughs> My man was speeding, okay, and drove us to the police station. And then he was like cussing us out with the police officer and saying these girls are like, obviously we don't understand Italian so we can understand what he was saying. The policeman came over and he was like, why can't you just pay the man? And we were like, no, because he's trying to charge us triple the price from what we were told. So we're not doing that. We're only trying to go to this destination. This guy had spent so much fuel driving from the restaurant to the police station. He then put us back in the cab, drove us back to the restaurant. In that time, he could have dropped us to our Airbnb and then it could have been done. But my man was so bitter. Have you ever told me a lie? Um. Not like a little lie, like a lie. Oh, like a big lie? Yeah. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Between me and you, who do you think is the loudest? Definitely you. Why? Why are you both looking at me like it's me? Why are you? What? <laughs> Do you know what it is? I think it depends on the situation. I think it's because you know me so well and I'm so comfortable around you. I'm loud, but like in other situations, I'm calm. Like I'm a very calm person. I don't go into environments and like I'm like trying to be seen. I take the environment as it is. I think it's because obviously we're family. It's different. 
Yeah. I would assume that you are with your friends when you go out. Not really. No? They're loud. Okay. Oh, they're. They're loud. <laughs> Fair. Who inspires you? Mm, just generally in life? Mm -hmm. I'd say it's not really a person, it's more so my experiences. So when I think back about everything that life has thrown at me and I see where I am now, that inspires me to keep moving forward. Being able to wake up, breathe, experience myself, experience people. It's like saying, you haven't come this far to only come this far or something like that. There's a quote like that, yeah, that, that speaks a lot to me. Okay. But have we not done 16 questions yet? I can ask you one more, or two more. How many have we done? Okay, let's just keep going. <laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Yeah. Crazy in what sense? Like, just crazy like... Now I've got to think about this one. <laughs> <laughs> just going, which one is appropriate to say what you <laughs> It's not crazy to me. Okay. But I think it'll be crazy to you. Okay. I went skinny dipping in Spain both times. Judging by your face, it's very crazy <laughs> to you. That's what I mean. It's not crazy to me. Can't you get arrested? Mm, possibly. But I didn't I didn't ask about the laws. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's your biggest fear in life? For a very long time it used to be I had this fear that I'd end up alone. I don't have that fear anymore because I feel so secure in myself as a person. I have so much love around me with friends and family, so I think the biggest fear is probably childbirth. I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking at this one over here. I'm okay to wait for a very long time, basically. I'm still in my 20s, I don't plan on having kids in my 20s. We'll see if I ever have kids. Okay, I'd say. What happened over here? We just lost some light. <laughs> it's very awkward. At least now we know how long it lasts. It's fine, we can carry on. My last question. Now. Okay. What's your favourite memory of us? Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> that's so sweet! <laughs> you're not gonna remember this because you were so young. Do you want me to give you a memory from when you're like when we're like when you're yeah. like this age? No, it doesn't matter. You sure? Yeah. Okay. So when Grace was really young, I don't even remember how old you were, maybe like three, maybe four. We were just playing about, we were taking pictures, but you didn't even understand what I was asking you to do. You were just happy to be there. <laughs> <laughs> and in that moment, I just remember thinking, oh my god, I really love having a sister. Like, I really like this. Just because we were like taking pictures in the mirror, I put like my cap on you, and I was doing your hair, and I just felt like, yeah, this is cute. There's like times I've been like, oh, I'm just so happy you're here. Oh, really? Like when you went to a comedy. Oh, and that made me feel so good! <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> when you came to watch my dance performance at Danceable, yeah, that's the first time you ever saw me like dance. Yeah, did you see me go? Mum takes me. Yeah, yeah. But you was always like working or doing something else. And yeah. When you was there, I was like, I can. I know you're watching me. Oh, please <laughs> no, 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 no! That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> That. The best thing that you can probably do for like your people is to go and support them in their thing, you know. And that's all my questions. Hey! Shout out to Millie for helping me. Okay. These questions. Yeah, shout out Millie. Well Definitely. done. That's our best friend. <laughs> that wasn't as scary and yeah. like as invasive I as think I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought Grace was going to ask me some serious <laughs> adult <laughs> questions. That was cool. That was PG and that actually gives me a little bit of confidence and hope. Like, she's still a kid, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share. Make sure you comment below and show my sister some love, okay? And like my sister always says, a like makes me feel good. Any subscribe makes me feel even better. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit both of those buttons. And we'll see you next time. Well, I'll see you next time. You might be here next time. We don't know. We don't know. But you'll see me next time. Peace.